Hello and welcome to another Chimps Comics unboxing video. Today we're going to unbox a brand new statue from Sideshow Collectibles. It's a premium format Poison Ivy statue. Measures almost two feet tall. These statues are usually pretty gorgeous, but this is going to be my first look at the statue, so I'll give a review at the end of the video. We're going to go ahead and slide this out of the box. Those can be kind of tight, but a little bit of a little bit of effort and you can get it out. Usually not a problem. If you're unfamiliar with Sideshow Collectibles, they are high-end collectibles that you can order through us or order direct through them. If you want the exclusives, you gotta go through them. If you're okay with not the exclusive piece, we can usually order them in with a discount for you. That being said, they are also the exclusive distributor of hot toys over here in America. Same goes for those with the exclusive, you gotta go through them. Non-exclusive, we can usually help save you some money. Now I do apologize for the shaking this video. <coughs> Excuse me. The way we had the camera set up, unfortunately, as I moved the box around, it shook the table a little bit. And when that happened, that also shook the video a little bit. So bear with us. But this is definitely a higher quality resolution than our other camera. So we decided to use that so that you could definitely see all of the details of this amazing looking statue. All right, we'll go ahead and get the lid off here and start putting this together. With slideshows, you definitely want to be very careful opening them up, taking them out of the box. Sometimes they can have a little piece that if you accidentally hit, you can snap off of it. Nobody wants to snap any piece off of a slideshow collectible that they just purchased. That just plummets the collectability on it. All right, so we'll get the base out here, unwrap it out of the plastic. Now, yes, for those of you following us, uh, a lot of times we have our store logo in the top left corner. Yes, I did put it in the top right corner because in all honesty, I don't like being on camera. But unfortunately, there are parts where I still sneak in. But those of you who come into the store also know what I look like, so that's okay. All right, so there's the body. It usually comes in pieces. You gotta get all the pieces together. It does not come with instructions, so, but more often than not, you can figure it out by looking at pictures on Sideshow's website, seeing where the pieces go, or sometimes even like I'm doing right here, just try it a couple of different ways. It can usually only fit one specific way. All right, we'll go ahead and pull out one of the leaves here. The leaves coming out of the bottom of the base of the plant. But it doesn't look like it goes in when she's in there, so we're going to have to pull the body out so that we can fit these leaves in. It looks like those go in first. All right, find the right spot here. Yeah, it looks like it fits there. If you've never picked up a Sideshow collectible, we do have a few of them available in the store. Most of them we do pre-orders on because of the price point on them. It's not exactly in the price point of our regular customer, but with that being said, you can still do a payment plan on them. Most of them we order 10 months in advance, which gives you plenty of time to do 10 payments so that it doesn't hit you as hard in the end. All right, looks like we've got the leaves of the plant going in here. This is the last part. So now let's go ahead and try and put the body back in. That's probably what holds them in place. And yeah, yeah, it definitely does. All right, so it looks like we're almost done assembling it here. And we can get a closer look and see exactly what this statue looks like. Try to get in and see all the details of it. All right, there we go. Magnetic head on there so that it snaps in and locks pretty tight. All right, the sculpting on the statue, my personal opinion, very, very good quality. Don't mind me, we're just picking up the camera so you can get a closer look. I think the face is 
beautiful. They did a very good job sculpting the flowers in her hair, all the vines on the body. This is definitely a high quality statue. My only complaint on this statue, if you can tell her skin is way more yellow than what it appears on the box. We're going to give you a full 360 on this. You can see that they sculpted the muscles on her back and kind of painted in the shadows on that. I kind of preferred the uh, greenish blue hue that they had done to her skin that you could see on the box from earlier on the video. You can kind of see it a little bit here. But to me, she almost looks a little more yellow-green. I don't know if that's just me, but... I would have preferred a, a little more uh, tint to that, like you see on the box. It doesn't look like an exact match to me. I'll go ahead and set this down and do another spin around here. I don't have a turntable to make this nice and easy. Okay. So here's a close-up of the face. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like and share.